What's up YouTube? Welcome to Apple Knows, the show that covers all the latest and greatest Apple news and rumors. I'm your host Corey, so let's get started and see what Apple knows this week. Macworld iWorld 2012 kicked off this week and there's some cool Apple products that were announced. There are a lot of iPhone cases, waterproof solutions, and products that were shown at CES. But there are a few that stood out. IK Multimedia, the makers of iRig Mic, have unveiled their new microphone called the iRig Mic Cast. The iRig Mic Cast is an ultra portable and compact microphone for the iPhone and iPad, and is meant to be used for recordings, interviews, podcasts, lectures, or whatever you please. The microphone will cost $39.99 and will be available sometime in first quarter 2012. Another product that stood out was the new Thunderbolt drive from Western Digital called the MyBook Thunderbolt Duo. The external hard drive uses 10 gigabits per second Thunderbolt port and supports two 3.5 hard drives in a RAID 0 stripped array. It will send data at a lightning 2 gigabits per second, 250 megabits per second, which will let you send a full HD movie to your hard drive in 30 seconds. This is fast, but not as fast as it could be because hard drive technology has not kept up with the speeds of the ports. It will be perfect drive for video professionals who regularly transfer large files, the MyBook Thunderbolt Duo will be available in 4TB and 6TB capacities. The availability date and pricing are not yet known. I am excited to see the actual speeds and reliability when it comes to market and the price point too. Apple released the 7th beta of Mac OS 10.7.2 to developers and asked them to focus on iCloud document storage, address book, iCal, mail spotlight, and Safari. But there are no known issues listed, so that can mean that the update is coming very soon. Hopefully there will be an update for Final Cut Pro 10 not too long after that. Apple reclaims the crown for being the world's largest smartphone vendor according to a research firm. Apple squeezed by Samsung by the narrowest of margins as measured by unit shipments. All tallied up, Apple recently announced figures of 37 million iPhones barely edged out Samsung's quarter 4 smartphone shipments of 36.5 million units. Techno Buffalo claims that Apple OLED TV with souped up Siri will be coming April or May at the latest. The source says that they seem gorgeous, very thin pre-production models that use OLED panels at various sizes up to 42 inches. While we know that Apple has finally cracked the code on the TV as Steve Jobs said himself in his biography, what should we expect? While we don't know if it will be running its own version of iOS, they expect it to have Siri controls that well exceed controls for the iPhone 4S. The claim will be a hub for your life, the post-PC era. Instead of turning off the TV, it will be in sleep mode and will awaken when somebody comes in the room it recognizes as the master controller using facial recognition software. The only question left is, how much is it going to cost? 2000 3000 Would you consider buying one at that price? That's all that Apple knows this week. Check back next week to see what else Apple knows. To see what Corey knows, follow me on Twitter here if you want to. All my other social links are down below. If you like this video and want to see more awesomeness, hit that subscribe button right up there. And I will see you in an upcoming video. Bye-bye.